Miss Taylor was sleeping in her bed when the Louisville police showed up with a no knock warrant. Now, I want you to put all this, I'm, I'm saying all this to, 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 to let people understand and let this sink in. Kentucky, or Louisville, is a city that has 26 council uh, members, right? 26. 19 of the 26 are, are Democrats, all right? 19 of the 26 are Democrats. The governor is a Democrat. And we keep hollering about the Democrats being here to save us. Always vote Democrat. They're going to save us. They're saying the same things. They're saying the same things. We have to pay attention. This is why, again, the message from this show is black solidarity with all black and brown people. We have to have our own power base. We have to have our own political base. We have to have our own message. As long as we stay segmented, whether it's Republican or Democrat, we're going to suffer the same. I read to you last week, uh, for those on the radio, uh, last week I, I read a piece from Joe Biden's speech. He talked about the rioters, of uh, the looters, and the unruliness of, of, of the protesters, and called them lawless. He vowed to clean up the streets and the lawlessness that would not go under a Joe Biden uh, presidency. I want you all to let that sink in. I'm sorry about that. It's coming across the line. I want you all to let that sink in. Because here's the deal. Democrat or Republican, they're saying the same thing. They're saying the exact same thing. These murders are going on. These, these, these kidnappings of black and brown men and women and children are going on in blue states. These incarcerations are going on under Democratic governors, Democratic mayors. So where's the justice? There is no justice. They bought off, they paid uh, the, uh, the Taylor family, which they're supposed to do. It is a part of justice. It is a part of justice. It is not in lieu of justice. The payment that they received, or the judgment, I should say, that they received, was supposed to be in conjunction with a conviction in conjunction with someone being held accountable for Miss Taylor's death, not instead of, in lieu of, in conjunction with. Reparations is more than money. There has to be accountability. There's a dead black woman. There's a dead black woman, someone's daughter, someone's sister, someone's loved one is dead. And the government says that no one, no one, is responsible for this woman's death. And this goes on and on and on and on every day. And I'm tired. I know everyone else is. This is why I don't play the videos of people of, of black people being accosted in the streets. This is why we don't we we, we don't we don't play them on our on our Facebook or on our on our website. Because again, we know what's going on. But when are we going to get mad and stay mad? When are we going to get ready and stay ready? When are we going to start working together? Again, again, black people, brown people, it is not our fault the condition we are in. Let me make this perfectly clear. Our condition is not our fault. We were born here in chains. We didn't immigrate here. We were forced to build this country, to labor and toil, to build the wealth of America. We fought for the freedom of the colonists. We fought on both sides of the war. We fought for England to keep its colonization and its, its hold over the colonies. And we also fought for the uh, 
for the colonists. While we were in bondage, there were blacks that fought and died in the revolution. We cannot sit idly by and just say that we have to be calm. Because what's going to happen while I'm on this show today is a black man is going to be accosted, shot, or maimed by the police. At least one. At least one. At least one. Some black woman somewhere. Some child somewhere in America is going to be brutalized by the police or killed. When is enough enough? When is enough enough? 